Hey everyone, it's me, Fee, and here to wrap up Point in Progress's 2023 Game of the Year videos. It's crazy to think this is the third time that we are doing this, and with so many games that released this year, it made this list quite difficult for me. So before we spend more time on this segment, let's get right into the games. Okay, okay. I know I said games, and I can definitely say I played a lot this year, and a number stuck out to me like my need to live and die for Lethal Company. The cozy, relaxing atmosphere that Coral Island has welcomed me into these past few weeks, going hunting and adventuring with my horse Torino in the wild west of Red Dead Online, or my obsession with the never-ending quest to get double watermelon in Suica game. However, there is one game I really want to focus on, and it's not only just my game of the year, but I can safely say it's one of my favorite games of all time, and that is Baldur's Gate 3. When I say Baldur's Gate 3 has taken over my entire year since August 3rd, let alone my life, would be an understatement. And before I get started, I want to thank my co-host Harv for calling me out, saying it was a fee-ass game and was surprised that it wasn't on my radar. I was initially reluctant to play it. I consider myself a novice in the landscape of D&D. While I enjoyed it, I always felt like I became overwhelmed with the spell rules, stats, and choice anxiety. I also never played a Baldur's Gate game before, and as someone who usually insists on playing games in order, I was concerned I was going to get frustrated with myself for my lack of knowledge of the gameplay and the world. However, I was delightfully proven wrong in a matter of a few hours of playing. And no, that does not include the three plus hours it took me to create my first character. From the moment I opened the game for the first time, seeing those adventurers going into the ominous gate, which I later found out one was Larian Studios' own CEO, Sven Venick, to the end of my first of many playthroughs. The experience was, and is nothing I've ever experienced before in a game. What Larian Studios has done and created with Baldur's Gate 3 is nothing less than a masterpiece, and a love letter to not only D&D fans, but the gaming community in general. I know those are pretty big claims, but every aspect of the game, the graphics, the soundtrack, the beautifully narrated rich story, and the characters, the companions, I laughed with them, I cried, my heart broke for each and every one of them. Even Lazel, who truly doesn't get the love that she deserves. Hashtag bestie. There have been claims in the past where games will allow you to do anything, but not achieve that. However, with Baldur's Gate 3, it's not about what you can't do, but what you haven't thought of doing yet. The amount of shenanigans that I've gotten into and still learning about myself through playing, through TikToks and Discord channels, it's just never ending. And I've already played through this game once and I have four active playthroughs. I'm not even exaggerating, four different playthroughs and none of them are played the same way. And it makes me just want to play it more. I know this is going to sound silly to say, but thinking about this game and how much of an effect that it's had on me over these past seven months, it has me honestly emotional. I could not begin to thank Larian Studios and everyone who worked on it or anyone who had any sort of aspect associated with that game enough. I know for many, including myself, it became a comfort, a safe place, an escape, if not for a little while. I'll admit, 2023 was not the easiest for me, but Baldur's Gate was one of my biggest highlights. So thank you Larian Studios, the team, the voice actors, everyone who worked on it for the roller coaster of emotions and chaos, and for the love that you clearly have for this series. Now, I could spend a few number of hours talking about each element of this game in detail, however, I doubt Mario would appreciate that. So I'll contain my excitement for now, and maybe make a much longer video and review in the future for our channel. And with that, I want to say thank you to all of you for taking the time to watch our Game of the Year reviews, and look forward to all the fun and excitement that 2024 has to offer. 
I also look forward to talking about Baldur's Gate 3 during my 2024 review, as I have dropped all my other games and have now fully started playing this again. Special shout out to Mario for editing and creating all of these videos. He has absolutely killed it once again, and I am not just saying that to avoid getting murdered for not sending my game of the year until the very last second. If you like this review, please make sure to like, and if you're not already, subscribe to our channel. If this is the first game of the year review that you've seen for Point in Progress, please make sure that you're going and checking out our other game of the year reviews from this year, from 2023. We also have our other years, 2022 and 2021 available, all in the same playlist. Thanks again, everyone. Progress has been made, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye